I wanted to focus on Yahoo as a design company because I use them a lot and sometimes I wonder why. Uh, they're actually one of the top five websites according to Alexa rankings and they uh, just had so many CEO changes, ambition changes. Their recent CEO, she comes from Google and she brought some of that mentality forward to Yahoo and she now is asking for everybody to get a new smartphone because she wants them to be able to think and work like the majority of users do. Um, but can these, can these design changes though help Yahoo be what it used to be? And with that in mind, I designed it, or I saw what elements I should consider. And within those elements, I argued that, yeah, utility, getting what you want to get done, done is important. Usability, that that's not difficult to do, is very important as well. As well as that it looks attractive and it's appealing to users through aesthetics is important as well. I do think also that community has a strong influence. Um, sometimes, I mean, it's that community, that group of people that you're trying to reach, and it's that group of people collaborative with each other, do they help each other? That's also important. And that, that group of people like your site. Adaptability is also very important uh, to time in particular. I mean, we're not talking about what's appealing today or, or in Web 2.0. It's definitely different than what, what's appealing for a lot of people in Web 1.0, and it'll probably be different in the future as well. Now we have a lot of mobile density, so um, that's something to consider also. Support. I think that it has to be part of a design. You have to embed or really promote or have support that's easy to access and available for users, if you can provide it, that is. Um, but if you provide support, I think it'll help in building the community and building a design that um, people find user-friendly and don't get frustrated with. And then Excel set. I thought about this for a while, and I do think that on the internet, second best is sometimes not good enough you may have the second best email client well people may go to the first one you may have the second best operating system people go to the first one so what do you excel at what qualities does your design excel at in a way that they go to you first before going to somebody else so i think that has to some be something to consider definitely when we think of design so quickly over this in the utility well i mean again you, you can see the yahoo has some going up and down but uh it's important to be useful for users. Uh, in usability, I keep using it for my email. I mean, as you can see there, I have 32,000 emails on that account. Uh, um, and it brings in all my accounts to me. The new Yahoo Mail is great because it has no caps on space. I use much more than those seven gigabytes on my email. And it's easy to use uh, through mobile as well. So in aesthetics, it's hard, right? Because a beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what's pretty for me is not necessarily pretty for other persons or attractive or um, looks good for other persons. But um, when I think of Yahoo Access, what they've done, as you can see in the, in the bottom picture, I mean, I do think they have quite a bit of a visual aesthetic there. I also think Yahoo News has pretty good aesthetics. In terms of community, well, whether people like it or not, I mean, Yahoo is the top four website in the world and in the United States. In terms of adaptability, well, you can see the all. I remember when I used to play checkers and chess within Yahoo games, and it was all just uh, an application, an applet, and it was kind of clunky, but it was the coolest thing at the time, and I, and I really liked it. And now, how they have a little more uh, flashier um, or HTML5 base and and you can see the progression however of their main homepage hasn't been that great you know 2005 they um, still have some of the basic look and now it has a little even uh, more visuals to it a little bit it's a little bit heavier uh, but it still uh, loads quickly all of them and I mean they're also mobile friendly so I think they have adapted somewhat pretty well over time and, I, and that shows in the ratings the support again I think it's there for in a lot of parts it's not that hard to find it within Yahoo and I think many other companies that have good support have been rewarded for it so promoting support and design it's key what do they excel at I think they try to find that out sometimes themselves but um, they do have a good mail system they argue that it's number one I don't know if that's still true this 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 graph it's it's not that new. It's about six months old or something like that. So things change quickly online. But their news are definitely number one. Their sports, I wouldn't be surprised. I think it's also number one. And I don't know about the finance, but it does look pretty good from that graph they show. 
um, and yeah they do have I mean a lot of qualities that they excel at so Yahoo like from 94 to 2012 is still kicking and still the fourth biggest site online they're not a small site um, but they have had difficulties in a lot of respects in fact Google originally wanted to sell their search engine to them and they missed out on that and they missed out on a lot of great opportunities too I mean Yahoo it's um, it's what it is a little bit messy and that's the new CEO today and yep I didn't know if I completely agree with that quote but I put it there anyhow uh, Yahoo's a schizophrenic company with no real product anymore I do think Marisa Meyer is trying to change some of that and bring in some of her previous work expertise into Yahoo so Yahoo well I like it I mean it's top number four site and I'm probably one of the persons that's guilty for that you can see here I mean you can easily go through different news I love this sticker I think it tells me things that are I mean I think they got a good balance of knowing that people don't want to read serious news all the time at least a lot of the people some of the silly news here really do catch people's attentions I think they have a good thing going with them there they have the Yahoo Mail over here and I mean I use Yahoo Mail so here we go why again 32,000 emails on this thing and uh, I mean it works right in my opinion it just has I mean and I, I sent them emails before before I couldn't really resize this bar so I couldn't see um, I mean all the names of the folders but it works great you know I have no problems with it it's friendly on my mobile as well if we go to Yahoo Sports, I mean, it's they, when they bought Rivals.com, they really gained some um, some insight into sports and a lot of scouting. So their sports news are pretty top up there too. Um, they're pretty good news. Flickr, I think Flickr could be a little bit better, to be honest. I think Flickr keeps growing, but it's it's almost in the middle now because you have something like 500 px on one side, which is. Um, bidding them on design and having that only photographers club and they have something like Facebook on the other side and then you have also photo bucket on the other side and both of those offer unlimited space whereas they offer a limited space but they're not they also have a lot more just random pictures I like them but I have stopped using them once I reach one of their caps um, Yahoo meme I saw it was one company that had a great design but then again it failed so Yahoo has had a lot of failed experiments if we look at their list of acquisitions and mergers, I mean, there's just a ton of things they have acquired over time and try to redefine them as a company. And a lot of them really haven't gone as well as they would like, but some of them have gone great. Um, these are all their projects that they also have. I mean, some are Yahoo branded, some aren't. But I mean, it's a pretty large company. Hasn't done so well financially. Uh, they closed your site. Um, even though it was one of the biggest companies at 1.2 that they, that they acquire, but uh, I mean they're actually maybe turning the turning around now. I don't know what I can suggest for them to improve, except keep innovating. If I think that um, there's a part that Yahoo has not been that great at, is that sometimes they're a little bit static and they're a little bit messy, and I think both of those things have had damaged their image a little bit. So they need to fix that. They need to be able to to both have a clear path towards their design and future and at the same time um, yeah have less ups and downs right so be a little bit more uh, steady and bring in new features I saw Axis which I'll show you guys here uh, did well I mean did pretty well within a, it, it's an add-on to a browser but it's done pretty well in my opinion as, an, as a mobile app I mean, it has uh, almost a five-star review. Uh, some reviews, however, were from their own employees. But I used it, and it wasn't bad. I mean, it had a lot of syncing. It was fast, and it was uh, a mobile browser. Uh, Yahoo! It's a company I like, um, but sometimes I, I think people wonder why they like it. So that's pretty much the design company I used to. I decided to look at. Thanks.